All right, so here we go, day three. Um, it's actually later in the morning. Uh, it's about 11, 11 15, 11 30. Um, haven't found anything yet. It's been going since about 8 39, uh, right in there. I moved spots from where I was yesterday, but uh, six miles from the truck right now, and uh, finally found one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here it is. Did uh, I think 25 miles yesterday and picked up, ended the day with 11. So, there it is. Actually, looks like a good hard white. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So. Heck yeah, so there's another side around here somewhere. So okay, so I let's just find it. dropped down the hill here from where I found this uh, hard white, and there's just this little little rocky canyon right here. It's not very big, just onto the other hill right here, and uh, dropped down here, and we got a shed, and it looks big. It looks really big. Get down in here in this mud and snow. It's pretty nasty. Oh yeah. Look at this stud. Oh, is he broke or is he just underneath there? Big fronts, big thirds. Fourths huge. <laughs> well, I hope his other side's close. He's got a short mane. He broke it, but <laughs> look at that. Ah, the mane kills him. Look at that fifth. <laughs> Holy shit. That is what we're looking for. Just need some more beam. Wonder what that thing scores. Guess we'll have to find out this evening. So Alright, so I just come straight up right here from where I uh just found this this stud stud bull and uh, I found the other side it's not far he's just right over here right on top and oh it's so big it's so big I uh, oh, man Look at how big he is. Holy. Look at those forts and fits. Oh my god. This one's got an extra. I wonder if he had that on the other side. And that's why he broke so much beam off. Holy shit. Look how big that is. <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. I, I don't even know say. I'm freaking speechless right now. <laughs> okay, now, wow. Holy shit, look at that. Just an absolute stud. I mean, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. This, this thing is absolutely retarded big. I, I don't know. What are, what he's gonna hit? Um, I'm not even gonna guess. I'm gonna wait till I get a tape on it. But this main beam, this the main beams scare me. I mean, granted, the gross is gonna be awesome with this, and I'll take growth over net any day. Um, but just just the main beam scares me. There's not a lot of main beam there. But <laughs> look at those fourths and fifths and thirds. It's, I've never seen fits that big. I mean. That's unreal. Those things are pushing 20 inches. I mean, come on. Oh, they're so heavy. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. I'll tell you what, all the hard work, all the hard work that we've put in to elk this last year in 2015, 
and all the elk we've picked up and, and don't get me wrong I mean we we had a killer year last year we picked up I think five sets four sets in the 380s five sets in the 370s and and didn't even add up all the 350 360 stuff um, just a phenomenal phenomenal year uh, from Nevada to Utah to Arizona pretty much just been kind of traveling trying to get out there into the country that these giants live so I've had a goal I want to break 400 I, I, I made a I, I made a deal last year that I was gonna spend all last year going for elk and uh, trying to break that 400 I still went for deer I'll, I'll never not go for deer deer are my baby but uh, <laughs> figured I'm gonna put it all in go for 400 so I can get back on deer and this is what this is what I got so absolutely unreal I can't wait to score him <sighs> day three uh, seven miles or so from the truck maybe noon who knows maybe he's got a bigger set lane over here somewhere absolutely unreal Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just went down this canyon, up the other side, got to the top over there and realized I left my little camera tripod back uh, with that set. So I figured, well, it's not that far. I'm gonna drop everything over there, haul butt back to grab it and uh, decide to take a little bit steeper route. And in the process, Boom, here's another nice shed. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, this day is turning out to be amazing. I mean, late start, first hard white, I, first horn I find is a hard white. And I go maybe 15 minutes later over a hillside and uh, pick up that giant and then this bad boy. So I think I'm gonna stay on this end I'm gonna leave the stuff I the set over there. I'm gonna leave it over there and um, keep hitting some of this lower, steeper stuff. See what else is in here. Uh, can't hurt. So let's go get my tripod first. Okay, so I just stopped. Um, just come down the hill into this canyon from uh, where I left my little tripod, and I just stopped here because I've got to fix this horn. It's it's moving around quite a bit and. I look up the hill right here. And there's a tine sticking up right there. Just above that dead log. Well, what do you know? Broken up. Actually, hard white. Sitting out here in this wide open sun. So, we'll take it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna be a good day. I just got done scoring him and uh, man, as close as I thought I was gonna be, I missed it. Um, main beam's just killing. Everything else is, is, is good. I mean, you could use a little bit more mass, but uh, other than that, main beam's killing. Yeah, I mean, you've got it all. Minus uh, the main beam. Damn it. I thought we had it that time. I really did. Um, that's why I try not to get too excited. <laughs> I've been let down one too many times. But uh, one thing that's cool about it, it is freestanding, so. And it doesn't help in the mud, but that one does stand on its own. Big birds, I mean, kind of concaved a little bit. Probably an older bull. 
Um, hopefully he's in here again this year. So I'll have to wait and see. It's a way to start off the first uh, shed trip of uh, elk shed trip of 2016, though. All right, here we go. Day four. Um, it's about 8:30 in the morning. Just getting going. Probably I don't know six seven hundred yards out of camp at the most going a different direction today and we got a shed so it's old and chalky but uh heck we'll take it thank you thank you thank you i might actually being as close as it is to camp just uh put it up on top here and gps it the uh, little Three point looks like he broke off his front there. Last year's brown, hard white. Cool, thank you, thank you, thank you. Heck yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. A little five, heavy little five though. Take this point up here and we got a couple antlers. This actually broke off. We're fighting. Get that. Get that. And then not quite done yet. So, thank you, 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 thank you. Broken, a shed, and a broken kind. All right, so I could have went up the hill over there where it was a lot easier, just on the back side. It kind of slopes the way the canyon rolls. Anyways, it kind of slopes, it's grassy, way easier to go up. But it did not have all the sagebrush that this steeper side side had so i opted to take this way and uh i don't know if you can see it or not all right so there it is i decided to grab it bring it up on top so don't fall on my ass down the hill What up? So it's the end of day four, um, about 5.15 or so. We're going to start packing up so we can get on the road, get home. And uh, oh, what a trip. Awesome trip. Awesome, awesome trip. Picked up my biggest set. And uh, I'm not going to say what it, what it scores yet just because I want to do it right. Um, on top of it, I think I picked up 33, 32 or 33 sheds total. Uh, a lot of chalk, a lot of hard white. Saw a lot of bulls, nothing's dropping yet. Uh, it was fun getting to sit and watch those guys from a distance. Hoping a couple would drop, but no luck. So, yeah, four days of just pounding the hills. Um, it turned out to have uh, that right there. What do we got? That set from uh, the other day. There's the big set. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To be uh, able to come out and do what I love and get around and be able to physically do this uh, it's a lot of miles with a lot of weight on your back for a long time so i'm i'm pretty stoked i'm ready for the browns now <laughs>